they, when they came in, they did not came, they did not come in as gentlemen. Characteristics of uh, the, uh, of the military, they came in threatening, you know, fire and brimstone. You know, they stormed the place. So, you know, it's not working in like gentlemen. They stormed the place, and you had to run. And if that is the first reaction, you have to run for your safety. And those who have been uh, were caught up, you know. They, 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 they had a bit of uh, the experience you expect from military who have come for operations. They were beating up. So, nobody, no, <laughs> look, I'm in my 70s. Yeah, I can't expose myself to such harassment anymore. So, the most logical thing to do, safe thing to do, is to stay away from the farm. I've stayed away from the farm, so I don't know what is happening there now. Right? How much destruction has been done. I've not been there. You know, see, they came in, so I just said, look, let me respect myself. I, because once you are dead, this Nigeria, I don't know how much they will be done to take care of whoever. You know, you are dead. You are a dead man. So first of all, is to preserve yourself. So we have stayed away. How it has affected our business is, of course, this farm is a daily business. So if I can, if I miss a day or two not being my farm, you know the impact. Yeah, we have planted crops that are mature to be harvested at this time. They are not me. Nobody. My I had to remove my. I mean, I find a way to remove my best from from the farm because I cannot leave my ch chicken there, you know, without feeding them. Emergency evacuation, you know. So really, we our business have been, you know, strangulated seriously. To put it mildly, if you go to my farm, it's not. I don't. I don't rear my best on the floor. Yeah, it's uh, they, they, they are elevated platforms. Yeah, and that's like making a story building. To, uh, the reason for that, and then in there, I put cages so that the birds do not have to have access to their droppings. Yeah, they are not on the floor. Yeah, they don't have access to their droppings. So I raise them in cages. They don't have access to their droppings, and so they are heavy. I don't have to bombard them with I mean, with chemicals. You know that will end up in your body. So it's a modern farm. So it, it was not cheap. You know, put it in place. Oh, uh, I, I wouldn't sleep speaking. If I would trust the government to give me a secure land, I would say, okay, let's go. But because I have lost confidence in the government's capacity to give me a land that is safe to operate, I would rather, you know, so if you cannot do anything uh, with the military to leave us where we are now, please give me adequate financial compensation. And then I go and take time to look for alternative place, which I would be... I mean, careful to investigate. But let me tell you this. We never acquired the land where we started initially. We never acquired them illegally. We bought from Omonilia as it is known. In fact, for, when, before I bought that land, I went to the Ministry of Lands, eh, where they gave me somebody eh, to, that introduced me to the villagers. Go and buy from the villagers, come and rectify. You know, after buying and rectifying, and now in a position to you know, start operating, I started, up. I put up structures, eh? and then they came, oh no, we, this land is no longer available, eh, where were you? Somebody who came around to ask for a uh, 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 title to the land, told you what you were going to use the land for, and uh, these are not temporary, you know, activities, farming is not a temporary job, you know, so now you are coming, it's okay, fine, it's government, I mean, uh, public interest, so, and we moved, and today, we are finding that there was fraud in that movement. It is says that the land you were moving us to, you know, there's an issue on it. And for the, I cannot take that one for villagers, take that one from families who are greedy to make money for now and let the trouble wait for the future. But not for the government that has all the information and has no problem with wanting to make money quick. I do understand. They have no business wanting to make money quickly. They were not going to make money from us. They didn't make money from us. Eh? So where you were taking us to, you should be sure that there was no echo branches. Yeah? Before moving out. You have moved us once and now we cannot operate there. How can I trust you that where you're moving me moving to next is safe? That is the only problem I have with that. So if they will give me my cash, you know, compensation, adequate cash compensation, let me go and reorganize myself, you know, and uh, think of what to do. Thank you.